<laughs> it's good to see you again. Pull up a chair by the hearth. Grand Widow, Fair Lena! Fair Lena is training acolytes to worship me. Her job is very important. Do not disturb her. Hello, friends. It's Aaron from InputDelay.com. Today, we're going to be showing you all how to defeat heroic Grand Widow Fairlina in Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. In this video, we'll be discussing boss tactics, deck highlights, and some other tips and tricks. And then after the strategy section is over, we're going to show you the whole fight so that you guys can get an idea of how the deck we chose works. Let's do it. Fairlina is an interesting opponent, as she's got a mix of warrior and warlock tactics at her disposal. Uh, her hero power is called Reign of Fire, which is a call to her ability in World of Warcraft. Uh, and what it does is it fires a missile for each card that you have in your hand. Uh, she'll also use cards like Undertaker to take advantage of her death rattles. I think she has a, a death charger uh, and some other stuff in there as well that can really sort of pump up her Undertaker. Uh, and she also has warrior-specific cards like Inner Rage and Rampage, uh, which will buff her minions, so be careful of those as well. Uh, without a doubt, though, her most dangerous card is Worshipper, which gives her an automatic plus three attack during her turn. And she has five of them in her deck, so you're going to see that card a lot. The deck we chose for Feralina is actually a modified zoo deck, so it's going to cost you about a total of 1,200 dust, but its usefulness in constructive mode may actually help you justify the cost. So if you don't already have a zoo deck, you can build this one and use it for Feralina and then take it to construct it. Uh, but seriously, if you don't have a zoo deck, why not? Because everyone plays Zoo. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, because Feralina's hero ability will punish you for holding cards, uh, a Zoo or aggro style deck is perfect for flooding the board and emptying your hand, and that's going to make her power pretty useless. Um, at the beginning, you want to make sure that you mulligan your hand for low cost cards like Flame Imp, Zombie Chow, and Boyd Walker, and that's really going to limit her damage from Reign of Fire right at the onset which is important because you're gonna have some cards in hand and she's going to use Reign of Fire every single turn. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you trade out those low cost cards like the Flame Imp and the Void Walker uh, with her worshipers if possible. Obviously the Void Walker you're gonna use as a taunt, but that Flame Imp uh, can really do wonders for you. If you get a couple of them out there early, you can take some of those worshipers down and limit her ability to basically have a free weapon with that minion. Those worshippers really are your first priority, so in any situation, if you can get rid of them, definitely, yeah, do that. <laughs> also, the Void Terror Power Overwhelming combo is an especially smart play, and that sort of just goes for current Zoo anywhere. Uh, especially if you can power overwhelming a Nerubian Egg first, and then lay the Void Terror out there next to it, then you'll destroy the Egg get your 4-4, and then you'll pump up your Void Terror as well. Uh, also in this deck, you have an Undertaker, so that you can utilize that yourself. Uh, but the nice thing is that you actually have more Death Row cards than Feralina, so Undertaker is actually more of a boost for you than it is for her. You've also got a Defender of Argus, which is going to force Feralina into your eggs if you need them to, or you can just taunt up some minions so that you're not taking so much damage to the face. And also, just remember that this is a zoo deck, so you can't be afraid to tap to get more minions out on the field. Uh, but just keep in mind that as soon as you tap, you're going to be drawing an extra card and you're going to be putting yourself in Rain of Fire territory. So don't tap early on unless it's really necessary and you have to get some stuff out there. Uh, Soulfire and Doomguard uh, are actually pretty useful in this scenario because they can get you out of tight spots because they will discard you right out of that danger zone. So there you go, guys. Here's some footage from our success with Zoo against Fairlina. And as always, remember that there are multiple decks that you can use for this fight. It's not just this one. And even if you do build the best deck, RNG is always going to rule Hearthstone. If you can't beat her the first time, keep on going. It takes multiple attempts to kill these bosses because they are very tough. Dan versus Brand Widow Fairlina. Hey Nick. Hey, you're here again. What's up, man? You're here one more time. You're talk. In, you're in the hot seat now. To to get some commentary on our on our vids. 
Right off the bat, keeping Undertaker. Keeping the Undertaker, just because I'm trying to get a fast start here with the Warlock deck. Running that, that death rattle? Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, mostly because... Mostly because she is going to do her Reign of Fire uh, right. every turn, basically. And so if I if my minions manage to get hit... My minions. If my minions manage to get hit, then at least they will do something. But the zombie chow obviously is not exactly something that is has a preferential death rattle because it's giving health back to her. Right. Um, but basically, this deck is a zoo deck, uh, just modified slightly to go against Carolina because the way her hero power works, you want to make sure that you get all those cards out as fast as possible flood the board and don't have anything in your hand and basically render her hero power sure. useless. Right. Uh, so I'm the just opposite of competitive play. Exactly. Right. Unless you're running a crazy aggro deck and right. oh, you know you have the best luck in the world. <laughs> the widow embraces me. Got to so deal with that, those, those worshippers right yeah. away. So there's that, that worshipper that we talked about in, uh, in the, the boss tactics. Um, but basically... You got to get rid of them as soon as possible because it's a free weapon for her, basically, sure. and it uh, it will ruin your day. And if she gets more than one out there, I mean, that's just math. It's right. not fun. <laughs> math, math oh. never is. <laughs> so that's what you're gonna see. Is I'm that worshiper is always gonna be my main priority as soon as they come out. Yeah. And uh, I think it's kind of bullshit that she has more than two. I think that's fucked up, don't you? Yeah. I mean, boss decks are crazy. They could have like four weapons. Right, we're only a weapon. Yeah. And no other cards. <laughs> I'm looking at you, patchwork. Foreshadowing. Oh, yeah, get that egg some two I'm, damage. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that egg has damage so I can get that 4 4 out. Better go after that worshiper with that egg. Now, I'm, I'm always really scared of the Undertaker. I always really am. Uh, because it's an axe, and I feel like. 75% of the cards that these bosses play have death rattles, and that <laughs> that Undertaker can get out of hand really, really fast. Yeah. Just like a uh, questing adventure, or um, all, a lot of those cards that yeah. have that, like, you know... When you summon this, get this. Right. I mean, specifically in Nax, because of just the absolute uh, wealth of death rattle cards. Sure. Undertaker is just so, totally OP. I mean, when you look at cards like uh, Mana Wraith, which is when you cast a spell, you get plus one, plus one. I sure. mean, that works in like a uh, like um, a Frost Mage. Sure. Uh, but I don't know if that necessarily works in a lot of other decks, just because you're. it's not common for you to have that many spells. But yeah. in Nax, you're going to have a lot of Death Rattle cards and... And Undertaker becomes very powerful if uh, if left unchecked. Interesting that she has warrior cards when she's clearly a warlock. Do you think so? Yeah. I mean, I would I would say that because of her attire, and I mean, in WoW, she carries a big giant sword and smacks you in the face with it. She seems more of a warrior type. Well, I mean, one-handed sword can be used by casters, and Reign of Fire is a warlock player. I guess that's true. You know, yeah. so. so you I see mean, me just literally taking every card that I have in my hand and throwing it on I'm, the field. I like the double really nilly. the double knives. If they last. I don't but I don't believe that they do. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember correctly, I don't think they last very long. Oh, see ya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There they go. Bye. Oh, I love this card. Necronite? The Necronite? Yeah. Uh it can it can go very well for you. Uh or if you don't have a means to deal with it, right? It can uh, it can be a giant pain in the ass. Yeah. Look at me buffing that egg again. Yeah. Get that egg power in, y'all. You know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> gonna finish up with uh, with dwarf maybe. Get rid of both of those cards if you went dwarf. Yeah. I think that's what uh, I did to keep that knife juggler uh, out on the field. Yeah. Get some damage in. I think I tap here. Yeah. I think the rule of Warlock is if you're above nine health, you should be tapping if you have the right. mana, something like that. I mean, it's uh, it's difficult to say against Feralina because when you tap, you draw a card. So you almost oh, don't yeah. want to tap before you don't have anything in right. your hand because then you're you're risking having something that you can't play. 
You know, you shouldn't tap with two or three mana because right. if you if get you a two or three mana card, right. I mean, that, that, it's not a whole lot of damage because she's only really going to do one if you have one card, but still, it's one mana for one damage. It's mm -hmm. this. I don't, I don't like this card, the Void Terror. Yeah, well, I, I think I win because of this Void Terror because I believe that I power overwhelming Yep, the Scarecrow there and then... Hit her in the face, dude. <laughs> Hit her in the face past me. God, what is this guy doing? He sucks. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I think I'm just uh, debating on where to place the Void Terror. Sure. So I made sure that I took out uh, the Charger with the 1-1 one, one because I'm about to chunk that boy terror in there. Interesting that you didn't choose to put it in the middle. I didn't because I wanted to keep the other 4-4. Four, four. Okay. So I knew that um, the damage golem was going to come out since I was going to kill him with the Void Terror. And I got to keep the power overwhelming, mm -hmm. which is nice. So when you put the power overwhelming on a card with Death Rattle, uh, sometimes it can really work in your favor. And I think a lot of Warlock decks are actually running that right now. It's power overwhelming and Void Terror. Mostly because of the egg. Because, yes. you know, you can put power overwhelming on the egg... Hit someone with that, and then uh, right. throw the boy terror out there to the face. But there it is. It's a, uh, it's a fairly straightforward Failina deal using a, sort of a modified zoo deck for Fairlina. So, good luck, guys. Awesome. Goodbye. Yeah.